using time machine travel to somewhere to find out the truth of history. Let's see where our first place is going to be. Whoa, where are we? Look, I see a strange temple. Here is Sumer, that is called a ziggurat. What's this building for? A ziggurat was a religion center, a place where people could meet. And at the top of this building is a place where the government works. Are they rich? Actually, the economy here is really great. The main source of income in Sumer is from the agriculture and trading. The surrounding land of each city was plotted out with individual tricks. These were irrigated through a system of canals and dams. Yes, for trading, they will trade crops and textiles to the other lands. I just saw a man taking these things. Uh, yes, and also the population here is 50,000. Why do they all look so rich? Because they live near the ziggurat, which are upper class. They are all princes, land owner, and government officials. Then, what about the other classes? Where are they? They are merchants. Artisans, farmers, and fishermen, and also the lowest class were slaves. They live farther away. All right, this is all I want to know about Sumer. Let's move. Then where are we now? Still Sumer? No, here's the city of Akka. Then why is the language so similar? Because in a cuneiform script was adapted from Sumerians. In many ways, the process of adapting the Sumerian script to the Akkadian language resumes our time with the way in the Chinese Akkadians had the few inflections. After that, a native Akkadian brings Abby, Abby and Ali to a strange place and they both stray from the guy lead. Having lost their memories, a sudden lightning. <laughs> Ellie and Abby had a time shadow. Ellie became a lawyer in Babylon. He follows the code of Hammurabi. Abby became a doctor in Babylon. She saved a lot of people every day. One day, a poor man who is suffering from a serious illness, but he had no money to buy medicine. <coughs> I, I, His oh. disease became worse and worse, finally. He fainted in the streets. Abby oh. asked slaves to bring the man to her hospital. After she cured this man, she went to save another patient. A long time later, the man woke up. He saw a lot of medicine around him. He hurried to take some medicines as much as he can. Even he didn't need this medicine. Once the way back home, he was caught by Ellie, who knew this man was incapable of getting this medicine in a legal way. The next day, Abby received the message for her to go to the court to pass judgment on a criminal. You have broken the law. Aren't you afraid to die? The man didn't say anything. You stole the medicine so that you could sell it to make some money, right? The man still didn't say anything. I can kill you if you keep silent, because a lot of people have seen you carry a lot of this medicine in the street. At this moment, Abby arrived to and found out the truth that the man she saved yesterday is a criminal who stole her medicine. You used your right arm to carry the bag which was full of medicine. So according to our code created by our king Hammurabi, I decided to cut off your right arm. The man became nervous. Okay, pull him out and cut down his right arm. 
Ellie and Abby woke up in a very beautiful garden, but they couldn't remember anything after the strange lighting. Everything seemed so unusual. This time we are going to New Babylon! Whoa, what's that? That building is wonderful! This must be the Hanging Garden! Oh, I have always wanted to visit it! Oh. Nebuchadnezzar decorated his place with lush gardens, and the water system kept the planting fresh and green. This hanging garden became famous. The human made display was viewed as one of the great wonders. Also, the hanging garden was built for the princess. I thought it was impossible for the Asian people to build such an unbelievable building. Yeah. Where does it plant it on? The garden were planted on rooftop and tall terrace, so the greenery would cascade down the walls. Where were there any another famous invention? The Babylonians were also skilled in mathematics and astronomy. They created the first sun deal, a device that uses the sun to tell time. The they make discoveries that led to our present day system of a 16 minutes hour and 7 day week. The Neo Babylonians were amazing. Absolutely. Now it's time for us to go back home. Let's go.